Honorius III. I decided to do a little bit about this because I was sent a letter after my last broadcast with a little bit of confusion. Apparently, somebody had bought a book that was reported to be the Grimoire of Honorius, but it was the Igos edition, which the Igos edition purports to be the Grimoire of Honorius, but is, uh, in fact, another book known by Honorius that's not related to Pope Honorius III. So, to start off with, I wanted to give a few facts about his life. First of all, his real name, his given name, before he became Pope, was Sessiano Savelli. The date of his birth was unknown, but he died in Rome, 18th March, 1227. That much is known. He was the tutor to the future emperor, Frederick II, and he worked strenuously for another crusade into the Holy Land, but never achieved it in his life, totally. Grimoire of Honorius is basically a Catholic ritual as opposed to other more traditional Solomonic grimoires. Arthur Edward Waite called it perhaps the most frankly diabolical of the rituals connected with black magic. Alephius Levi had, had called it himself, he called it horrible, wicked, and profane. The ritual itself includes the immolation of a black rooster and a lamb in the purification and preparation process. The occult nature of the Catholic Church should be noted here. The Black Mass was possible because sacraments involved with power could either be dedicated to Christ or the devil. There were a few amongst the ranks of priests, bishops, and popes who could be considered infernal collaborators, such as Pope Sylvester II. See here. An urban grandeur. This is a reproduction of his supposed pact with some infernal spirits. You'll notice uh, one of these looks uh, very similar to one of the minor sigils of Beelzebub from the Grimorum Verum. Interesting to note. Conceivably, a devil worshiper could acquire sacramental items such as the host and holy water and dedicate these to Satan as well as reverse the process found in its rites, such as Honorius III's, to achieve an end that might have been the whole intention of the author in the beginning. Not everything is what it seems. The final result of this is a conjuration of an infernal spirit for each day of the week. Lucifer is given the conjuration for Monday, Frymost is given the conjuration of Tuesday, Astaroth is given the conjuration of Wednesday. Siltard is given the conjuration of Thursday. Beckhard is given the conjuration of Friday. Guland is given the conjuration of Saturday. And Sergat is given the conjuration of Sunday. Again, this is the addition that I have of it. Um, undoubtedly, I, I've never seen it before, but I've heard that the Trident edition is absolutely the best one. But one I would not recommend is the Igos edition, because it's, it's not the same book. Anyway, it was good talking with you again, and I hope we will see each other soon. Hail Satan.